Should you trust a six-figure scanning booth more than an experienced doctor with a handheld dermatoscope? Today we'll compare five ways to get your moles scanned. Old school and cutting edge. Imagine walking into a high-tech booth, having your entire skin scanned in under a minute and being told which, if any, moles look suspicious. But here's the question. Is that better than an experienced doctor with a handheld dermatoscope? Today, we're comparing five different ways to get your moles checked, from the classic full body skin exam to the newest AI powered 3D scanning systems. I'll walk you through what each system offers and what to consider if you're going to choose one. So number one, the skin check with dermoscopy. Hi, I'm Dr. Finbar, and this is what I use every day in my clinic. I look over your whole body with my eyes, examining any concerning moles or lesions with a dermatoscope. This is a small, specialized light which allows me to see deeper into the skin. But why does this work? Well, because trained eyes can spot patterns in color structure, and that tells us a lot, especially when we have enough clinical experience. It gives instant answers, but it's only a snapshot in time of what is visible on the day. It can't tell about evolving lesions. We can, however, photo individual lesions and track them over time. But if you've got hundreds of moles, I won't be able to remember what every freckle or mole looked like from one year to the next. The second system we have is total body photography. Currently, we use Dermingen in our clinic. Our nurse takes over 35 high quality images using a guided silhouette system. Then AI compares your photos between visits, looking for moles that have changed or are new. The pros to this system is it's an affordable setup, it's great for patients with lots of moles, and it supports remote assessments. There are some downsides, but it's still a two dimensional photo, and it does require skill on the part of the nurse taking the photographs. You will need repeat visits for the AI changes feature to work. It's like turning your skin to a spot the difference game, but it still works best alongside a proper skin check by a trained clinician as in step one. The next system, step three, is PhotoFighter ATBM Master. It's a more advanced form of total body photography and mole mapping. Now, a motorized camera arm scans your body in a couple of minutes, and then it uses Mole Analyzer Pro AI to rank your moles by risk right there and then. The built-in dermoscopy and that adds a close-up of all suspicious lesions. Now the pros to this system are that it's very detailed, it's good for clinics doing a lot of skin cancer work, and it combines wide photos and close-up views. The cons is, again, no three-dimensional model. It requires a trained operator and the equipment is very expensive, around 60,000 pounds at the time of this video. It's like a professional photo shoot with the AI zooming in on whatever it sees worth flagging. Now, before we take a look at options four and five, let's look at the results of a recent poll I put up on my YouTube channel. I asked, would you be happy to pay for an AI assessment of your moles to check for skin cancer? Now, here's what you told me. Around 30% said, no, I want a human. 20%, one in five said, yeah, I think the AI would be amazing, but over half of you said that the best option is combining human expertise with AI, and I couldn't agree more. AI is a powerful tool, but it's not a replacement. It's more like a sat-nav, smart, fast, and great pattern recognition, but you still need an advanced driver behind the wheel. Okay, so the fourth system is the Canfield Vectra WB360. Now, it's a 3D full-body scan scanner. We're stepping into Space Aid's territory now. So the vector system uses 92 cameras to capture your entire skin surface in one flash under a minute. It builds a 3D avatar of your body and lets doctors compare every mole from every angle. So the pros to this, this system are that it's very fast at capturing, it's excellent for tracking changes over time, and it's already used in some centers since 2018. The downsides are that the machine itself is very expensive, around a quarter of a million pounds, it requires massive storage place and size of volume and data, and their AI risk scoring system is still developing. It's like a full body airport scanner that creates a 3D printout so you can study it from every side. Please hit the like button if you're enjoying this content. And finally, the last system is the iTobo S. This is a futuristic one. The system uses robotic arms to scan for six minutes, capturing regular photographs, 3D depths, and dermoscopy. 
images. It combines that then with your history and even incorporates DNA to personalize your risk score. So the pros to this are multi-layered analysis, next level precision, and the potential to personalize care. The downsides are it's still in European trials. It's not going to be available until at least 2027. We still don't know the price. So it's like a self-driving camera that also reads your blood work while scanning your skin. So to summarize these options, let's break them down. One is your classical skin check with a dermatoscope, a quick and accurate, low cost, but relies on clinician time and skill. Total body photography then from Dermage and great for follow-ups and change detection. Photo finder system adds risk ranking and AI and dermoscopy into one system, but it's more time consuming and expensive. Then onto the Vectra full 3D scan, maps your body in seconds. It's got huge potential, but again, expensive. And finally, the I2BOS system, next leap forward, but still in the future. We'll have to wait and see. So for now, the classic skin check is still the foundation, but these technologies give us tools to track changes, improve accuracy, and reduce missed cancers. The real power comes when we combine trained doctors with intelligent machines. So what do you think? Would you stick with a traditional hand check or step into a 3D scanner every year? Let me know in the comments below. Now you've heard me mention AI several times in this video. And if you're curious about how an AI system has been given the green light in the NHS in the UK to detect skin cancers, watch this next video. See you soon.